Okay, so COVID-19. The whole experience of, of COVID, the pandemic has been a very big eye opener for a lot of people. Time has kind of completely stopped dead and a lot of people are out of work, running out of money, sort of the state of mind and the their, their you know, the way how they look at life has completely changed. And I want to give you my experience on it, what I've done to try and get through it and how and what I've learnt throughout the entire process. So for those that don't know, I live in London. So I live in South London. And a few months ago, it's been about like four or five months back now, the Prime Minister said that everybody needs to um, stop what they're doing and stay at home. Because we the, obviously the pandemic has kind of caused a lot of lost lives and it's it got to a point where if we carried on living as normal, whatever normal is, then the virus would spread and it would cause more deaths. And it's kind of very important, of course, that we all make sure we're well and healthy. So we had to stay in our homes and not do anything apart from go to the supermarket to buy essentials. And there were some supermarkets that were open and there was a no, no one going meeting with friends, of course, or meeting family members, because obviously the virus will spread if you do have the, the virus especially for the elderly and for those over a certain age are more vulnerable to the virus. Because of the virus, a lot, almost all businesses had to close. And there were certain sectors within within business that how that got that suffered the most. And it hits home close to me because of course I'm a musician and the sector which was the arts and entertainment sector they got it very hard for obvious reasons being close to people um music is it revolves around meeting people and being around people and events and uh going to gigs and rehearsals and being in small spaces and and all of that stuff it just completely got wiped out i'm very fortunate because my industry that i work i work in education so i'm a secondary school teacher but at the same time, I'm also a freelancer, so I do both, um, freelance and teaching. The blessing is working in education, you get paid a salary, you get paid every month at the same rate. Um, it's not like an hourly thing where you, you know, you get paid for the shifts that you do. We work from a certain time and we get paid for the job we do all throughout the year. So we get paid every year um, per month based upon what we get. Because the income or my income has been steady, I haven't suffered financially as much as most people did because obviously people got furloughed, they got fired even and they don't have a job to go back to and, and various things because businesses had to close and various other things. So I'm very, very thankful for the fact that I was able to have that job when I did, but I know what it's like to freelance and not have money and suffer because it's hard it is a hard business to break through if you don't have the right contacts or you don't have the right ways in it's very hard in the uk there have been a lot of schemes for for freelancers or freelance musicians or artists um such as there's been various grants and funding um, that the government have done and also um, the Musicians Union have done a fund as well and various other things but that's only money and a lot of creatives have suffered mentally and emotionally because of the, the, the loss of work because of this many musicians have found it hard to stay motivated and I completely understand why when you get told not to do things the things you love it really does affect you in many ways during covid i had to even though i was i am a teacher 
I still found it hard to be creative and stay creative and keep my spirits up and, you know, emotionally trying and mentally to try and stay healthy, but it was hard. Even throughout the pandemic, I was still working. So I still had to do online lessons. And even that in itself is very, it's not the same as teaching in a classroom, um, especially for the art subjects like music and drama. You know, music, drama, art, you can't really teach that stuff um, at home. It has to be in classes because all of the facilities are there. Not everyone's got an instrument at home. You know, not everyone can have the benefit of having a, a specialist in their subject teaching them directly for an hour and 45 minutes a day or an hour and 45 minutes a, uh, a week or every other week, depending upon what your, your school is like. During COVID, I had to make a decision and I'm a firm believer in making decisions in life. Um, it's all good talking and talking about things, but um, until you come up with a solution, the same thing is going to keep keep recurring. You know, the same problem. So there was a period during COVID where I said to myself that I need to make a decision on how I'm going to move forward mentally and how I'm going to progress forward. As I said before, I'm a firm believer in making decisions. I am very aware of the fact that the decision may not go as planned. There may be problems. There may be some backlash. People may say, oh, you shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake or um, that was very bad of decision that you made. But I make the decision. I do the decisions. And if I make a decision, I always try and put 110% in every decision that I make, especially when it comes to music. If I make a decision and I move forward and I don't put in all my effort, it's a waste of time for me personally. You waste time and you waste effort. Whereas if you put 110% in and you get to a dead end and then you say to yourself, right, I've got to this dead end. There's no way that I can possibly move forward from here. But I've learned along the way and I've put in all the effort that I could to try and make it work. If it doesn't work, take a step back, make a new lane and start again with all the new information that I've learned. My decision was to make sure that every day I learned something new. With piano or practicing, as you guys know, I'm a big believer in practicing and everything else, or practicing your instrument every day. I made sure I practiced every day. Or I taught something every day. Or I learned Spanish every day. Now, for those that don't know as well, I, I there's three goals I have in life, or uh, three sort of um, major things that I want to learn that is piano or music, how to be able to practice and be at a very proficient level of piano playing. Teaching ability, being able to teach effectively and making sure that people are taught well and they learn something from me or Spanish, which is something that I've had, or languages even, which is something that I have a very, very big passion for culturally and being able to, to speak a language is something that is um, amazing to me because music is a language as well in itself. So those three things, I try to learn at least one of them every day or learn something new. I try my best to do that, but there were days where I didn't want to, but I still forced myself to get up out of bed and do it and, and try to keep my state of mind going. COVID has been a weird experience because Time has been a weird thing as well. Um, I was speaking to a friend um, on Instagram and we were talking about time and about how time is is an illusion almost. It's weird because this whole experience has gone incredibly fast and incredibly slow at the same time. Five months have gone just like that but at the same time every day drags and drags and I've come to the realization that time is what you make it. 
time is what you it's what you do with the time that counts now there's always pressure on on people to to do stuff at a certain age or do stuff at a certain time you know they say you know if you want to be an artist you have to be one before you're 25 or if you want to learn an instrument if you don't do it by a certain age you can't learn anymore those kind of things I've I've never used to think about that anyway but recently I've really got to understand what that means and actually it's actually nonsense you can do whatever you want at any age you want as long as you're happy and you feel good within yourself about what you're doing and again if you really love it as I was saying before you put in 110% in and you try your best and you try to be a better version of yourself that you can be which is very important people grow people change and this experience has caused us all to change in some way shape or form whether it's mentally physically emotionally or or whatever form you like to think about it's been very important to make to make sure that you are well and stay insane and if that means learning something new great if that means watching netflix or or doing something that makes you happy cool but as a musician specifically speaking these skills get lost you have to keep it up um and there's a lot of people that say oh, i wish i had practiced more when i was younger or i wish i'd done this when i was younger unfortunately we're living in a stage in life where we're living in an era where bad things have to happen in order for us to appreciate what we have and this whole experience has made me appreciate how thankful I am that I've made decisions along the way in my life that have caused me that helped me grow and helped me move forward I have a friend in Colombia um, and they've got complete lockdown over there and she is going through a tough time with with not just covid but also with personal issues and family and things like that but every day she still manages to pick up her instrument and practice every day she still manages to acknowledge what she's going on in her life what's got what she's got going on in her life and she still learns every day learns something new every day and practice and just from that alone and someone who's a musician as well has also made me think about actually what we have got going on here is nothing compared to what they've got going on what she's got going on over there this is nothing and of course everyone takes it differently and i understand that but my personal view on it is um this is just another another obstacle um in the race or not in a race if you like, another obstacle moving forward because life isn't a race either. Um, but it has been a very eye-opening experience for us as musicians. What I would like to say is for all musicians that are out there that struggle, that have struggled during this experience or that have found it found it very hard to be creative or found it very hard to find themselves it's all right it's just another obstacle that we're going to have to overcome the arts have suffered entertainment has suffered musical musicians have suffered all of us have suffered in some way but there is always a light um and if we do get another set if we do get a second wave whatever that the case is then it's just another obstacle but I, f I feel like it is very important that you try and learn something every day and l grow from, even if it's not related to music, it can be related to something that um, that makes you happy and you learn and you take it in and you grow from it. There's something about being forced to stay at home that has a negative effect as well on your state of mind because because you're forced to stay at home, you're forced to do stuff and you're forced to practice or you're forced to stay at home and cook and you're forced to clean and you're forced to pressure it's, it's, it's a lot and online you see things online like oh um you know what are you doing during this time you know you should be learning or you should be uh you should be practicing or this and that 
and you could argue and say that yeah you've got the time you can practice um you can do this but some people can't some people don't have the energy don't have the state of mind to do it and i fully understand that but what has helped me is knowing that i've had the time to really focus on other things and making sure i learn something every day the stuff that i've learned in the past if you look at it five months five times 150 days and counting which has been um if you look at it like that it's a big number and every day i've learned at least 150 different things and for me that is fulfilling enough for me to keep going for musicians even if you don't know how to read you learn how to read if you don't know a specific scale learn a scale if you want to deep dive into different music go and listen to some new music if you want to learn about history about a certain musician or an artist learn it try and uh, and see if you can just look up something about them you know um remember that the 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 being a musician it's a constant thing where you have to keep it up and you have to keep it going and you have to keep moving and you have to keep um learning things in order to get better if you don't the skill will will decline and that's not what we want um but you're not alone. There are days where I really do feel, I feel like I don't want to do anything, but I try my absolute best to get up and do something and learn because it's always the initial stage of the, of the, the initial thinking about doing it to actually doing it. It's always that in between that people struggle with the most. And once you can get to the point where you're actually at the instrument or you're ready to learn, it gets easier because then you get engrossed in what you love and then you forget about it so for all fellow musicians please stay safe and stay sane um try and learn something new every day um and because you haven't got music it doesn't make you worthless you know um, it doesn't make you uh any less of a musician than you were before it's just another blip in the road so please try and make sure that you learn something new and grow and use this experience. Unfortunately, it's a bad experience, but we can turn it into a good one by making sure that we have um, enough knowledge to move forward from this. And it's almost like a dead end, but we've seen it. We've acknowledged what's happened in the past and we can go around the dead end and move on and find a new route. And thank you to everybody who has... Um, called me and texted me and sent me a message on social media to say how you're doing not to pass the time by but genuinely care and I really appreciate it and I've tried to do the same thing back to a lot of people who um, I know have suffered very badly because of COVID and I know what it's like to not know when your next paycheck is coming in putting food on the table and making sure that you're healthy and I know what it's like so this is not the end trust me it's not the end it's only the beginning so for everyone who's a creative or doing art or doing music or in entertainment stay safe and stay well